welcome to Vintage Tech Spotlight. Today's episode is about Cartrivision. What's Cartrivision, you say? Well, Cartrivision was the very first video cassette format ever on the market, and it was introduced in 1972, and it was off the market by 1973. It was not a success, and in this video, we're going to go into why. This is the top view of a Cartrivision cartridge. Um, what's unusual about this particular format is the two reels of tape are actually stacked on top of each other instead of going side by side. And here's a Cartrivision tape with the door open. I uh, just wanted to point out the fact that the uh, tape goes diagonally. This is the top reel and that's the bottom reel. Um, there are several professional uh, and amateur formats uh, somewhere between the 60s and 70s that used diagonal uh, tape and film loading such as this and they all suffered from the same thing that whatever media went through there had a tendency to jam up between this reel and that reel and this is the bottom of a Cartrivision tape and I just wanted to point out a few things uh, first off this is the recording uh, stop prevention mechanism and you put a little plug in there and that lets the machine know that it's okay to record on that tape but without that little plug when that space is empty down there uh, the machine won't let you record and then secondly these are the stacked reels and uh, let's zoom in a little bit more and I'll uh, show you exactly how that works it's very interesting and this is a little closer view of the bottom of a Cartrivision tape. Um, something to note here is the counter-rotating hubs. See, there's actually two separate hubs. One uh, goes into the top reel, and it's much smaller. And then there's the uh, larger reel that goes in the bottom uh, hub. And what happens with that is these go in opposite directions. They're actually counter-rotating because the tape on top here is tightening as the tape on top is loosening. And now we're going to take a look inside a Cartrivision tape. Uh, we simply remove these four screws right here, and uh, then we can look and see what's inside. And I just inserted a thin piece of plastic right here to facilitate in opening the cartridge. So here we go, lifting up the top. And now here's the cartridge with the top open. I uh, just wanted to highlight uh, the larger reel on top, uh, which actually feeds the tape through that mechanism like I showed you, and then down to the bottom reel. Okay, and now to remove the top reel and see what's underneath. It just lifts out, and we don't really see much, just a clear bottom uh, reel underneath, and uh, the tape is going right in there. If you're saying to yourself, well, I've never seen a Cartrivision player, what does one even look like? Well, here's a, a videotaped user instruction manual for the machine. Uh, this particular unit was put out by Sears. Um, the Cartrivision unit was actually built in along with a 25 inch TV and um, it was available for $1,600 in 1972. Yes, $1,600. In 2020 money, that's approximately $8,000. Gee, I wonder why this thing didn't sell. This is your new Sears Cartridge Television Center, your own electronic miracle that turns your home into a personal television theater. With a world of programming at your fingertips, captured on videotape and packaged in convenient, easy-to-use cartridges awaiting your selection, you can view what you want when you want it. The selection of subject matter is as broad as your imagination. Entertainment and education, music, the arts, and sports. It runs the gamut of your interests. In addition to being a fine color television set, the Sears Cartridge Television Center will replay pre-recorded programs, videotape television programs of your choice, even when you're not at home, and provide the facility for home taping your own shows. It offers instant replay of your home taped scenes. If its giant size and its giant price didn't scare you away, try operating the thing. Here's a short video that explains how to turn on the timer and record a program while you're not there. From now, turn the television set on and select the desired channel. Insert a fully rewound cartridge of blank tape, the one with the red and white striped label. Set the switch above the timer to auto position and make sure the camera switch is off. Set the timer to one. 
The dial is measured in 15 minute segments. One hour after you press the record button and turn the control switch to play, the set will activate and recording begins. The entire system shuts off automatically at the end of the tape. And that concludes today's episode of Vintage Tech Spotlight. Uh, the footage that we're looking at now is for the optional Cartravision camera. Uh, this is a black and white camera. Uh, it had a corded connection that connected to the back of the Cartravision system. Uh, and again, it only produced a black and white image and it was in mono. However, some of the uh, pre-recorded tapes and the rental tapes uh, were recorded in stereo. So yes, stereo was an option in the early 70s. The machine was very ahead of its time and it was very expensive. And I wanted to do a special shout out for fellow YouTuber uh, Video Lab Guy because he's the one that uploaded every bit of the footage that we're looking at today and uh, his uh, footage is what actually got us interested in the Cartravision format. So uh, thank you again Lab Guy and uh, for my viewers I would like to thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.